Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc. Good morning, I'm continuing on my uh, series on peptides and this morning I shot a couple videos on fat loss peptides because someone was asking me about them, what can be used in conjunction with normal lifestyle, fitness, nutrition, sleep, etc. So I'm going to continue on, got a couple other cool ones to talk about as well. Uh, another one that we've uh, probably been banning about in the literature, especially in the bodybuilding world for a long time is GW501516, better known as Carterine. Uh, it's a PPAR delta agonist. So uh, it's a long word, but basically it's involved with metabolism and fat, uh, fatty acid utilization. Increases the beta oxidation in the cell. In other words, it helps the body to burn f uh, fat as fuel. Helps turn on the, the, the TCA cycle to help it utilize uh, uh, fats and uh, fatty acids. And that therefore, it can decrease the utilization and need for glucose, which is, comes in handy for endurance. That's why in the, in the fitness and the new kind of comp sports competition world has been used for um, elite athletes uh, to boost endurance and boost performance because it's, it keeps those glucose uh, and, gly and glycogen levels in reserve, spares the glucose, helps your body burn off the fatty acids for fuel, provides endurance, boosts in endurance and strength, etc. It can increase the uh, type 1 muscle fibers, which are of course more prime for um, oxidation, uh, aerobic glycolysis, etc. Again, for more for endurance. So it basically again increases fatty acid oxidation, uh, increased beta hydroxybutyric acid as well. It also been known to decrease inflammation and increase adiponectin. We keep seeing that as a recurring theme. We want our adiponectin levels high. Um, so that's one thing that's uh, beneficial for metabolism and health in general. So cardarine is very, uh, is very uh, popular. And again, and it has been had some cautions a while back. There was a couple studies that talked about it uh, increasing possibility of cancer risk. However, these studies were done in mice that were fed five to ten times a normal dosage of what they would normally get. So overall pretty safe. There's actually some studies showing that I can actually reduce, has some anti-tumor effects. So again, it's something that can be cycled on and off, not something you want to be taking all the time, of course, and only for, for targeted specific needs. Um, another one I want to talk about, this is a whole category, this is a whole topic, the whole lecture in itself, but I just want to touch on the GLP-1 agonists. These are things like liraglutide, semiglutide, uh, things of this nature. These have been uh, tons of health benefits. They actually studied because of effects on the brain, very protective of the brain, actually started looking at this for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and mental dis you know, things of this nature, called inflammation, brain inflammation, massively helpful, but they noticed that these patients were also losing massive amounts of weight. So of course, Big Pharma and their wisdom said, hey, we can make more money <laughs> with this. So it's being uh, touted that way. However, it is still used, of course, quite extensively. A lot of my colleagues uh, use this extensively for patients with Alzheimer's, with cognitive impairment, traumatic brain injury, things of this nature, because and it's an overall great quote-unquote anti-aging peptide, kind of an all-in-one. It does so many different things um, in terms of neuroprotection, cardioprotection, decreasing inflammation, uh, improving metabolic cycles, improving mitochondrial function, uh, improving insulin sensitivity. Many, many things that are massively helpful uh, for the body in general. Reducing oxidative stress, reducing inflammation, making those metabolic pathways go uh, work more efficiently, which is, of course, something I always talk about. I'm all about uh, treating the cell, right? About cellular nutrition and fitness. That's why it's Primex, cellular nutrition and fitness. New t-shirts coming soon, by the way. Um, <laughs> in regards to fat loss, again, massively beneficial for, for this. They, these are basically in cretins. Uh, our body naturally, naturally makes in cretins, GLP-1, GIP, and, and 